The Kangji input method, Sang Che input method, sometimes also Changji, Kangjia, or Changji, is a system by which Chinese characters may be entered into a computer using a standard keyboard. Invented in 1976 by Chu Bong Fu, the method is named after Kangji, Sang Che, the mythological inventor of the Chinese writing system. The name was suggested by Chang Wei Kuo, then Defense Minister of Taiwan. Although the input method was initially based upon traditional Chinese characters, it has since been revamped so that Kangji and the simplified Chinese character set can interact. Kangji is the first Chinese input method that uses the QWERTY keyboard. Other earlier methods use large keyboards with 40 to 2,400 keys, except the three-corner coding method which uses only the number keys. Chu saw that since the QWERTY keyboard had become international standard, Chinese input had to be based on it. Chu Bong Fu gave up the patent of Kangji in 1982 as he thought that it belongs to Chinese cultural heritage. Therefore, Kangji has become free for anyone to use and modify, making Kangji ubiquitous on every computer system that supports traditional Chinese. In file names and elsewhere, the name Kangji is sometimes abbreviated as CJ. Unlike pinyin, kangji is based on the graphological aspect of the characters. Each basic, graphical unit is represented by a basic character component, 24 in all, each mapped to a particular letter key on a standard QWERTY keyboard. An additional, difficult character function is mapped to the X key. Within the keystroke to character representations, there are four subsections of characters, the philosophical set corresponding to the letters A, 2, G and representing the sun, the moon and the five elements, the strokes set corresponding to the letters H, 2, N, and representing the brief and subtle strokes, the body-related set corresponding to the letters O, 2, R, and representing various parts of human anatomy, and the shape set corresponding to the letters S, 2, Y, and representing complex and encompassing character forms. The basic character components in kangji are usually called radicals. Nevertheless, kangji decomposition is not based on traditional kangxi radicals, nor is it based on standard stroke order. It is in fact a simple geometric decomposition. Overview of the input method The keys in radicals the basic character components in Kangji are called radicals, Z Gen or letters, Z Mu. There are 24 radicals but 26 keys. The 24 radicals, the basic shapes G Ben Z Xing, are associated with roughly 76 auxiliary shapes, Fu Zu Z Xing, which in many cases are either rotated or transposed versions of components of the basic shapes. For instance, the letter A re, can represent either itself, the slightly wider U, or a 90 degrees rotation of itself. For a more complete account of the 76 odd transpositions and rotations than the one listed below, see the article on Kangji entry in Chinese wikibooks. The auxiliary shapes of each Kangji radical have changed slightly between different versions of the Kangji method. This is one reason that different versions of the Kangji method are not completely compatible. Chu Bong Fu has provided alternative names for some letters according to their characteristics, for example H Zhu is also called Xie which means slant. The names form a rhyme for learners to memorize the letters, each group in a line. The sounds of final characters are given in parentheses. Ryu Jin Mu Shui Huo Tu Tu Xie Dian Zhao Cha Zong Eng Go Go Ren Xin Shou Ko Ko Si Bing Yang Niu Fang Bo Bu Keyboard Layout The Basic Rules The typist must be familiar with several decomposition rules Chai Zi Gui Zhe that define how to analyze a character to arrive at a Kangji code. Direction of decomposition, left to right, top to bottom, and outside to inside geometrically connected forms, take four kangji codes, namely the first, second, third, and last codes. 
geometrically unconnected forms that can be broken into two subforms, e.g., me identify the two geometrically connected subforms according to the direction of decomposition rules, i.e., ren and er, then take the first and last codes of the first subform and the first, second, and last code of the second subform. Geometrically unconnected forms that can be broken into multiple subforms, e.g., Xie identify the first geometrically connected subform according to the direction of decomposition rules, i.e., Yan and take the first and last codes of that form. Next, break the remainder, i.e., Xi into subforms, i.e., Shen and Kun, and take the first and last codes of the first subform and the last code of the last subform. The rules are subject to various principles. Conciseness. Jing Jian If two decompositions are possible, the shorter decomposition is correct. Completeness Wan Zheng If two decompositions of the same length are possible, the one that identifies a more complex form first is the correct decomposition. Reflection of the form of the radical Zi Xing Te Zheng The decomposition should reflect the shape of the radical, meaning a, using the same code twice or more should be avoided if possible, and b, the shape of the character should not be cut at a corner in the form. Omission of codes Sheng Lu Partial omission Bu Fen Sheng Lu When the number of codes in a complete decomposition would exceed the permitted number of codes, the extra codes are ignored. Omission in enclosed forms. Bao Han Sheng Lu When part of the character to be decomposed and the form is an enclosed form, only the shape of the enclosure is decomposed, the enclosed forms are omitted. Examples Che Che, vehicle. This character is geometrically connected, consisting of one part with a vertical structure, so we take the first, second, and last kangji codes from top to bottom. The kangji code is thus shi tian shi, jwj, corresponding to the basic shapes of the codes in this example. Xie xie, to thank, to wither. This character consists of geometrically unconnected parts arranged horizontally. For the initial decomposition, we treat it as two parts, Yan and Xi. The first part, Yan is geometrically unconnected from top to bottom, we take the first, two auxiliary shape of Bo Y and last parts, Ko basic shape of Ko R and arrive at Bo Ko year. The second part is again geometrically unconnected, arranged horizontally. The two parts are Shen and Kun. For the first part of this second part, Shen we take the first and last codes. Both are slants and therefore H, the first and last codes are thus Ju Ju, H H. For the second part of the original second part, Kun we take only the last part. Because this is geometrically unconnected and consists of two parts, the first part is the outer form while the second part is the dot in the middle. The dot is I, and therefore the last code is Gay I. The Kangji code is thus Bo Ko Year Ju Ju H H Gay I or Bo Ko Ju Ju Gay Y R H H I. Xie simplified version of Xie. This example is identical to the above, except that the first part is Yan. The first and last codes are Gay I and Nu B. Repeating the same steps as in the above example, we get gay nu IV, ju ju h h gay i, or gay nu ju ju gay i v h h i. The short list of exceptions. Some forms are always decomposed in the same way. Whether the rules say they should be decomposed this way or not. The number of such exceptions is small. Some forms cannot be decomposed. They are represented by an X, which appears as the NAN key on a Kangji keyboard. Early Kangji system In the beginning, the Kangji input method was not a way to produce a character in any character set. It was, instead, an integrated system consisting of the Kangji input rules and a Kangji controller board. The controller board contains character generator firmware, which dynamically generates Chinese characters from Kangji codes when characters are output, using the high-res graphics mode of an Apple II computer. 
In the preface of the Kangji User's Manual, Chu Bong Fu wrote in 1982, in translation, in terms of output, the output and input, in fact, form an integrated whole, there is no reason that they should be dogmatically separated into two different facilities. This is in fact necessary. In this early system, when the user types YK, for example, to get the Chinese character when, the Kangji codes do not get converted to any character encoding, the actual string YK is stored. In a very real sense, the kanji code of each character, string of 1 to 5 lowercase letters plus a space, was the encoding of that particular character. A particular feature of this early system is that if you send random lowercase words to the character generator, it will attempt to construct Chinese characters according to the kanji decomposition rules, sometimes causing strange, unknown characters to appear. This unusual feature automatic generation of characters is actually described in the manual and is responsible for producing more than 10,000 of the about 15,000 characters that the system can handle. The name Kangji, evocative of creation of new characters, was actually very apt for this early version of Kangji. The presence of the integrated character generator also explains the historical necessity for the existence of the X. Key used for disambiguation of decomposition collisions, because characters are chosen. When the codes are output, every character that can be displayed must in fact have a unique kanji decomposition. It would not make sense, nor would it be practical, for the system to provide a choice of candidate characters when some random text file is displayed, the user would not know which of the candidates are correct. Issues Kangji was designed to be an easy-to-use system to help promote the use of Chinese computing, nevertheless, many users find Kangji to be a difficult method. Many of the perceived difficulties arise from poor instruction. Perceived difficulties In order to input using Kangji, one must know not only the names of the radicals, but also all their auxiliary shapes which might not appear to make sense, though Chu had intended all the auxiliary shapes to be related to the basic shapes and easy to remember. It is common to find tables of the Kangji radicals with their auxiliary shapes taped onto the monitors of casual computer users. One must also be familiar with the decomposition rules, a lot of casual computer users are not even aware of the existence of decomposition rules but rather type by guessing. This makes Kangji difficult for them, enough practice, however, can overcome the above problems. A typist with sufficient practice in Kangji touch types, much like one typing English. It is entirely possible for a touch typist to type at 25 Chinese characters per minute CPM, or better in Kangji, yet have difficulty remembering the list of auxiliary shapes or even the decomposition rules. Experienced Kangji typists can reportedly attain a typing speed between 60 CPM and over 200 CPM. There are also difficulties arising from current implementations of Kangji. The decomposition of a character depends on a predefined set of standard shapes. Biao Zun Zi Xing, however, because Kangji is used in many different countries, the standard shape of a certain character in Kangji is not always the standard shape the user has learned for that character. Learning Kangji then entails learning not only Kangji itself, but also unfamiliar standard shapes for some characters. The Kangji Ime does not handle mistakes in decomposition except by telling the user, usually by beeping, that there is a mistake. However, Kangji is originally designed to assign different codes to different variants of a character. For example, in the Kangji provided on Windows, the code of Chan is YHHQM, which corresponds not to the shape of this character but to another variant Chan. This is a problem from the implementation of Kangji on Windows. In the original Kangji, Chan should be YKMHM, the first part is WEN, while Chan is YHHQM, the first part is Chan. Punctuation marks are not geometrically decomposed, but rather given random looking codes that begin with ZX followed by a string of three letters related to the ordering of the characters in the Big Five code. This set of codes were added to Kangji on the traditional Chinese version of Windows 95. 
On Windows 3.1, Kangji did not have a set of codes for punctuation marks. Typing punctuation marks in Kangji thus becomes a frustrating exercise in either memorization or pick and peck. However, this is solved on modern system through accessing a virtual keyboard on screen. On Windows, this is activated by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus comma key. Actual difficulties Kangji, however, also has some fundamental problems. Kangji is error intolerant, Bu Rong Kuo Kangji does not include any commonly made errors as alternative codes. For example, if one does not decompose Fang from top to bottom into YHS, but instead type YSH like the stroke order, Kangji does not return the character Fang as a choice. The user cannot type a character which they have forgotten how to write. This, of course, is not a specific problem with Kangji but rather a problem universal to all non phonetic input methods. In some situations, it cannot be used at all. Kangji uses all 26 keys in an QWERTY keyboard, it cannot be used to input Chinese on feature phones. For cell phones, Zuyin 5 stroke or 9 stroke by Motorola and the Q9 input method are the current norm because they are designed specifically for use on numeric keypads. Of course, smartphones can and do support Kangji input by using the touchscreen virtual keyboard. Versions of Kangji The Kangji input method is commonly said to have gone through five generations commonly referred to as versions in English, each of which is slightly incompatible with the others. Currently, version 3, D San Dai Kang Zai is the most common, it is the version of Kangji supported natively by Microsoft Windows. Version 5, D Wu Dai Kang Zai supported by the free Kangji Ime and previously the only Kangji supported by SIM, represents a significant minority method and supported by iOS. The early Kangji system supported by the 01 card on the Apple II was version 2, version 1 was never released. The Kangji input method supported on the classic Mac OS is somewhat like version 3 and somewhat like version 5. Version 5, like the original Kangji input method, was created directly by Chu, the inventor. Chu had hoped that the release of version 5, originally slated to be version 6, would bring an end to the more than 10 versions of Kangji input method, slightly incompatible versions created by different vendors. Version 6 has not yet been released to the public, but is being used to create a database which can accurately store every historical Chinese text. Variants of Kangji Most modern implementations of Kangji IMES provide various convenient features. Some IMES list all characters beginning with the code you have typed, for example, if you type A, the system gives you all characters whose Kangji code begins with A so that you can select the correct character if it is on the screen, if you type another A, the list is shortened to give all characters whose code begins with double A. Examples of such implementations include the EME in Mac OS X, and SIM. Some IMES provide one or more wildcard keys, usually but not always asterisk and or, that allows the user to omit parts of the Kangji code. The system will display a list of matching characters for the user to choose. Examples include XSIN, SIM, and the EME in the Founder, University of Peking, typesetting systems. Microsoft Windows is standard. Changji Ime allows asterisk to substitute for in-between characters, effectively reducing it to simplified Kangji entries, while new Changji Ime allows asterisk as a wildcard anywhere except for the first character. Some IMES provide an abbreviation feature, where impossible Kangji codes are interpreted as abbreviations for the Kangji codes of more than one character. This allows more characters to be input with fewer keys. An example is SIM. Some IMES provide an association Lian Shang Liang Shang feature, where the system anticipates what you are going to type next, and provides you with a list of characters or even phrases associated with what the user has typed. An example is the Microsoft Changji Ime. Some IMES present the list of candidate characters differently depending on the frequency of character use, how often that character has been typed by the user. 
An example is the Kangji Ime and NJ Star. Besides the wildcard key, many of these features are very convenient for casual users but unsuitable for touch typists because they make the Kangji Ime unpredictable. There have also been various attempts to simplify Kangji one way or another. Simplified Kangji, also known as Quick, Gnyi Jnyi, or Su Sheng Su Sheng, has the same radicals, auxiliary shapes, decomposition rules, and short list of exceptions as Kangji, but only the first and last codes are used if more than two codes are required in Kangji. Applications Many researchers have discussed ways to decompose Chinese characters into their major components, and have tried to build applications based on the decomposition system. The idea can be referred to as the study of the genes of Chinese characters. Kangji codes certainly offer a basis for such an endeavor. Academia Sinica in Taiwan and Jiaotong University in Shanghai have similar projects as well. One direct application of the use of decomposed characters is the possibility of computing the similarities in writing Chinese characters, e.g. the Kangji input method offers a good starting point for this kind of application. By relaxing the limit of five codes for each Chinese character and adopting more detailed Kangji codes for each character, we can compute visually similar characters. Integrating this with pronunciation information enables computer-assisted learning of Chinese characters. See also Chinese input methods for computers Keyboard layout More complete table of input shapes at Chinese Wikibooks OpenVanilla, a framework that provides facilities to use Kangji on Mac OS X References Taipei, CHWA Taiwan Inc. Quan Hua K G Tu Shu Gong C Kang Zai Zhang Wen Zi Shu and Ma Kang Zai Z Mu Bu Shou Zhu Yin San Yang Ji N Z Dui Jiao The Kangji Chinese Information Code with indexes keyed by Kangji radicals, Kangxi radicals, and Zhu Yin. Publication number 023479. This is the user manual of an early Kangji system with a Kangji controller card. The second to last paragraph on the first page in the section entitled, The Kangji Radical Based Chinese Input Method. Kang Zia Z Mu Zhang Wen Shu Ru Fa states that translation, this is no problem, there are also auxiliary forms to complement the deficiencies of the radicals. The auxiliary forms are variations of the shape of the radicals, and therefore, easy to remember. The last paragraph on the fifth page in the same section states, Translation, the dictionary appended to this book, is based on the 4800 standard, commonly used characters as proclaimed by the Ministry of Education. Adding to this the characters that are automatically generated, the number of characters is about 15,000, using the Kangxi dictionary as a basis. Part of the information from this article comes from the equivalent Chinese language Wikipedia article, the decomposition rules come from the Friend of Kangji Malaysia website at http colon slash slash www.chinesecj.com slash the site also gives the typing speed of experienced typists and provides software for version 5 of the Kangji method for Microsoft Windows. It might be difficult to find specific references to the not error forgiving. Property of Kangji. The table at http colon slash slash www.array.com.tw slash keytool slash compete.htm is one external reference that states this fact. Input.foruto.com has a brief history of the Kangji input method as seen by that article's author. Versions 1 and 2 are clearly identified in the article. CBFlabs.com contains a number of articles written by Mr. Chu Bong Fu, with references not only to the Kangji input method, but also Chinese language computing in general. Versions 5 and 6 now referred to as 5 of the Kangji input method are clearly identified. External links Online Kangji input method Wang Shang Kang Zai Shu Ru Fa
the Chinese University of Hong Kong Research Center for Humanities Computing, Chinese Character Database, with word formations phonologically disambiguated according to the Cantonese dialect, a Chinese character database covering the entire set of Big Five Chinese characters 5,401 Level 1 and 7,652 Level 2 Hanzi, as well as seven additional Eden Hanzi. Kangji input codes are shown for each character in the database. Note the Hong Kong Supplementary Character Set HKSCS 2001, is not included in this database. Mingju Generator, in Chinese, Chu Bong Fu's page, includes the executable, source code and instructions. Mingju is a kanji character generator that runs on MS Windows. DOS Prompt. It requires Microsoft Macro Assembler and Link. Friend of the Kangji, a Kangji reference and a place where it is possible to download the Kangji 5 for various operating systems, and Kangji's supplementary input code lists for inputting the simplified characters. Siege Explorer, a tool for learning Kangji. The Kangji code for a highlighted Chinese character will be displayed when the tool is running. Overview of the Kangji a method, a great resource for English speakers to learn the rules and method of Kangji. Online Kangji Input Method Editor, Ime Wang Shang Kang Zai Shu Ru Fa Kang Zai Ji Yu Ma Lai Shi